Redneck Nation, y'all done messed up. And we finna get into it. But first, nah, I can't do it, man. This wouldn't be appropriate. Uh, just intro, please. Yo, what is good, Cree Squad fam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another, um, t well, technically re review video, because not only did I give this video once over, um, I did see <clears throat> other folks' uh, reactions pop up in my feed. I just got done watching Captain Kirk's um, video on this situation, and I um, also caught um, Southwind's videos as well. Shout out to both Southwind and Captain Kirk. Um... What is the situation? Well, apparently, Redneck Nation ha are, are the basically the next people in line. Well, we all know Red Redneck Nation is headed up by this dude named Bobby. He, unfortunately, is the next one in line that decided, hey, I'm going to get in on this whole, you know, betrayal on Upchurch bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is crazy. I mean... Redneck Nation is the last thing, the last entity, if you will, that I would ever um, suspect would pull some shady shit on church. And the the uh, timing of all of all this that that's happening is just it makes it even more disgusting. Um, in my view, I mean, church is. You know, as y'all know, he is dealing with um, some legal issues with his family, uh, mostly with his mother, um, which I, I, you know, I don't want to. Y'all know, we all know the uh, sto the <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, story that that led into all that. So we don't really gotta, you know, go go deep into it. Knowing that church is is dealing with that issue, you know what I mean, and you know some other things going on. Um, why, just, just why, why, why now of all things, you know what I mean? And uh, I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand why people want to do this man dirty because look, as y'all know, churches has done a lot for me. Um, uh, the man has popped in, uh, to a chat during one of my premieres and has donated a generous amount of money. You know what I'm saying? To which I am forever grateful for. And Church has commented on some of my videos. He's shown your boy some love. You know what I'm saying? And so um, after I got done watching the video, I did comment um, on the video. I actually commented in Church's um, uh, comment thread. Uh, looks like there's been a lot more comments added. Uh, so yeah, I have a main comment where I said, dude, this is so fucked up. SMH, uh, let's see, I'm trying to find my response to church, oh no, there we are, uh, so I, I told church, you know, hey, keep your head up, brother, they can't stop you, we got you always, hashtag Cree Squad, you know what I mean, just want to make sure that, uh, church knows, hey man, we, 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 we got his back, you know what I'm saying, at least your boy, you know what I mean, got, got, got his back as best as I can, <clears throat> And uh, going back into what the, the amount of love that Church has shown me, not only commenting on some of my videos, you know what I'm saying, but of course, but of course, white lighting all of my, you know, reactions slash reviews, you know what I mean? He um, uh, got my um, Blue Jeans album review white lighted, you know what I'm saying? Meaning that it, it was originally copyright claimed, now it's no longer claimed, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, he basically cleared me of the copyright on that. And then just recently, um, I uploaded two different versions of my gas remix. Uh, there's a short version, which is the original remix, where it's Church's first verse, and in my verse, um, Church, um, I'm sure had a lot to do with that game cleared up as well, as far as like the copyright issues and whatnot. And then um, just the other day, um, I finally dropped the extended remix, which is basically. Um, I, I re-added Church's second verse, um, back onto the song. So it starts out with his first verse. You got me in the middle and then you got his second verse, which is now a third verse. 
So, you know, so now you have a longer version of the song and that got cleared. You know what I mean? Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was hesitant in uploading that version because I didn't want to give the wrong idea. You know what I'm saying? But, um, people wanted to hear it. So, you know, people in, in my community, in my circle, they wanted to hear it. So I was like, all right, let me do this for them. And, uh, thankfully, like I said, it got cleared of copyright and whatnot. So I am very, very thankful for that. Um, as well. And then of course, Lone Rider, I did a remix of Lone Rider as well, a full remix where it's just me on it. Uh, and I remixed the beat <clears throat> as well. So it sounds just a little bit different. Um, that was instantly cleared when that was, um, uploaded. So yeah, very, very thankful for, um, the, uh, amount of love that church has always, uh, shown me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I will forever be grateful of that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. <clears throat> and I'll give you guys more of my thoughts, more of my commentary. All right. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this. But right. not really liking, but we're going to hear here. Go. <clears throat> There's really no way to start this video. There's something that's been bothering me a fuck ton. You'll know why in a minute. Uh, when I heard what you're about to hear, I just... I don't know. Made me question a lot of stuff. Shocked the fuck out of me. And made me feel like I can't trust any fucking body. And, and I can't say I blame him. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So, like, if Church never talks to me again, if he feels like he can't trust me, I mean, hey, I can't say I blame him. I would totally understand. You know what I mean? Because, again, you look at all the people that this man has tried to help throughout the years that's turned around and done him dirty. You know what I mean? We don't got to go through the whole laundry list of people. Y'all know. Just, you know, if anything, like I said, look at the, all the stuff that's going on now. You know what I mean? Again, the legal issues with his mother. And now, Redneck Nation wants party action. It's just, it's just not right. And like I said, I can't say I blame him for... Not feel, for feeling the way he's feeling as far as like, you know, it being hard for him to trust anybody. You know, if I was in his shoes, I'd probably feel in the same way. And not, not to compare because it's not no competition or anything. But if you guys follow me long enough, you guys know I put up a video. I've since take, taken it down um, because when I put up that video, it was done out of hurt and everything. And I'm not trying to make no excuses or justify it or anything. Um, but. Looking back at it, it, it was a video I shouldn't have posted. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, of course, over the course of the past couple of months, you know what I'm saying, I lost, you know, someone that was near and dear to me. Um, my, my, my cousin just passed away. And then I was dating someone. That, I was dating someone, uh, not at the time when I learned that my cousin had passed. Well, technically, uh, when my cousin passed, I was dating this person. But when I found out, um, this person had, you know, friends on me and I'm not ashamed to admit that. I mean, Hey, that's life. You know what I mean? Happens. You know what I mean? Happens to the best of us sometimes. Um, and, um, uh, I stopped hanging out with this person because they got very braggadocious, you know, about being alone and how less stressful their life has become, you know, since they're no longer being bogged down by, by a relationship and everything. So, and my whole thing is like, all right. I don't need to be reminded of two losses, you know what I'm saying? Um, and if you truly feel that way, then why why do you need me around? Why, why do you want to hang around me? You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, so <clears throat> I felt, you know, betrayed, you know what I mean? And now it's, it's hard for me to want to put myself back out there and try to trust somebody again, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, like I said, I totally feel where he's coming from. As far as like it being difficult to trust anybody, you know, it is, it is hard to trust people, man. It, it, it sucks, but sometimes people just suck, man. And there's not really much you, you can do about it except, you know, go your way and keep your distance from them. That's really all, all now he, he can do, um, from this point on, <sighs> you know, but anyway, let's get back into this. I'm just gonna play it, fuck it. 
Without ranting? Listen, off the record, we can get, I want to get that down, plus oh, the social yeah. medias. So I'll hit up the people who are, the guy Libs who does the username. I'll tell you another way to do it too, and I don't know how we would do it where it was anonymous, uh -huh. but if you go and buy fucking views, you can put it on you any of your videos. You can get fucked, yeah. and they'll fuck them. Right. And bot subs. Yeah. So I'll hit up, because the Carter Hughes guy who's suing me, all those people. They're... So yeah, as you guys can probably hear in that audio, they're basically talking about how they can ruin his social media as he's saying too in his um in his commentary here and you're hearing things about bot accounts and stuff like that yes there are um websites and i i know some youtubers who shall remain nameless that actually use these third-party sites to actually buy subs to actually buy views you know what i mean yes it, that is a real thing uh, which apparently YouTube is no longer cracking down on because some of these people that I know who actually use this still have accounts. Um, and YouTube used to be really good about, you know, cracking down on accounts that be using, you know, uh, fake or bot or purchase bot accounts, you know what I'm saying, to act as their subscribers, you know what I mean, and uh, purchase views and whatnot to make their channel look good, you know what I mean, to make it look like, oh, it's got this huge following you know what I mean? And it sounds like that's what they're going to try to do with church because they know if, if YouTube, because YouTube audits everybody's accounts, believe it or not, they, they do. They audit everyone's accounts. They see, they, they check to see who's a real sub and who is actually a bot account. And that's why um, content creators, when you see that, like your sub count, if it's fluctuating, that is because YouTube is auditing every single sub that you get. They're trying to, they're verifying that each sub that, that you're getting is an actual human being. It's a real account, you know what I mean, versus being a bot account. If it's a bot account, then they're going to up-sub um, that bot account. So, yeah, that's why sub counts, uh, the, the, the number of subs, it, it fluctuates because, again, YouTube is doing their part in making sure that every sub that you get is legit and not just another bot account, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> And uh, either that or they wanted to try to take down all of church's uh, social media accounts. So, and which would destroy basically his source of revenue. You know what I mean? His source of income and whatnot. You know what I mean? They want to, you know, basically to ruin this man's life, destroy his life. And it's like this dude has gone above and beyond and, ha and has helped these people make a lot of money he's helped made bobby a lot of money you know what i mean by basically associating his name with redneck nation and bobby wants to turn around and and destroy his golden goose really really not only is he your golden goose but i mean yo you Bobby is the reason why Church stopped working a regular job. Bobby was the one who told, who encouraged Church, you know, hey, do the social media thing. Make make these funny videos, you know what I mean? These funny buying videos that you do, keep doing them. Oh, have you thought about doing music, whatever, professionally? Get into doing music, you know what I mean? Engage with, with your people and everything. You know, do this. And now, What? Because you, you helped made the man, now you feel like you can help take him out, destroy him. What? And you are actually willing to go out of your way to destroy what you helped build? You blew it. I can't help but feel for church, man. I, I really can't. Because, I mean, again, I mean, for all the good things that's happened in this man's life, you know what I mean? You got all these monsters, you know, coming out of the woodwork, trying to tear him down and destroy him and it's like why why i i don't get it i don't understand it and i don't want to understand it anyway it's, he's, his name's libs at libs on instagram okay i don't know if he'll talk to me but if we say hey we'll give you like 500 bucks yeah. or about whatever your price is to send a hundred thousand yeah, but I, I don't know about that because if they fucking fight, if he yeah, wraps, because then because that's out. why I said it's sketchy because it's. I don't cute. want I don't want this to so be. So I'll, I'll find it. Yeah. 
but find out also about um, find out about buying fucking uh, subs and Sub buying and follows, views. And we'll put it on. Because I that. know buying views on it, like uh, KSI, like he got fucking hit hard. So we could do it, but we got to get like a burner fucking. So you see, they're talking about KSI getting 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 caught up because apparently he's purchased some burner accounts to help inflate his numbers. <laughs> right. Gotta get a burner credit well, card. We can't involve any. I'm not, no. Well, I want to doubt because that because you know that'll humble him. Oh yeah. No, he needs to. He needs to now. Now he needs to lose this, and he needs to keep. He needs to keep getting hammered, dude. He needs to keep, keep getting hammered. After everything I've done, Chris. so he needs to be humbled. He needs to keep getting hammered. Like what? Big squad's done. Everybody's worked at Redneck Nation. It's all down the fucking drain. We helped. We helped build Redneck Nation from nothing. Don't believe me? I'm sure I can get sales reports. And he's not wrong. I mean, how how much money has Redneck Nation made on Up Church merch alone? Hell, I got a Holler Boys shirt in my closet that I bought a long time ago. As I said, got a Holler Boys shirt. Boom, here it is. R-H-E-C in the front. And as you can see, yeah, it's an old shirt. I've had it for a good minute. It's starting The stuff on it is starting to crack. But there you see it, Holler Boys. <clears throat> that's probably I'm not gonna lie that's probably the only merch that I really bought from Redneck Nations and that's and it's probably gonna and prob not probably no it's going to stay that way I'm not giving Redneck Nation any more of my money and I highly encourage all of y'all who love church who support church don't give Redneck Nation any more of your money you know what I'm saying um <clears throat> because <sighs> See, the thing is with me, I mostly cared about the music. So that's why I purchased the music. The Hollow Boy shirt, I bought that because of what it means and what it stands for. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm not going to lie. There was more stuff that I was planning on buying. More church uh, merch that I was planning on buying from Redneck Nation. And um, now that they've done what they've done, they pretty much let, let it be known that they want to take church down, I'm not going to give them any more of my money. Fuck that. Fuck that. They don't They don't deserve my money. They don't deserve any of y'all's money either. So don't... I say don't, don't give them any more of your money, man. Screw that. You know what I'm saying? If anything, buy, buy church's music. You know what I'm saying? Because we all know where that money is going. Anyway. All the times my social medias were... Locked out of or deleted or lost them for two years. And still me busting my ass, busting my ass, busting my ass. Making one after the other after the other. I think I'm on my fourth Instagram at a million followers almost. Buying bots to ruin my page so no one sees my music. So I don't grow. Yet I still work and work and work and work and work and work and, work and, and barely make it happen somehow. What a fucking letdown. Dude, that's a huge letdown. I mean, look, look look, at his face. You can see the pain in his eyes. Man, it, like, like he said, all that work, all that, that trouble that he goes through to try to keep things going, try to maintain things. So not only... Can he make money to, you know, take care of himself, take care of his family and his people, but also help make Redneck Nation money? And in, in Captain Kirk's video, Captain Kirk did show that, um, I guess Bobby tried to make some kind of video or whatever, basically trying to apologize. But from the piece of footage that I saw, it seems like Bobby was trying to play the, the victim role in this. And Bobby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry, but you're not the victim in this, dude. I mean, we all heard you say what you said. You blew it. You know what I'm saying? We all heard the conversation you had with whoever it was that you were having that conversation with. You are not the victim in this case. You blew it. What a fucking letdown. You blew it. Well, I'll tell you this. 
Krieger, being a Krieger is not about sabotaging somebody who helps you. Mm -hmm. I ain't never said nothing bad about Redneck Nation. Never. And I ain't worn their shirts in fucking years. I don't. I didn't know why I quit wearing them. I just I knew something was not right. And now, I look, see, he 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 hadn't worn their stuff in years. He says because even he felt like something was up, and his instincts turned out to be true, bruh. Uh, you hear this kind of shit? You blew it. After every fucking thing I've been through? You blew it. He needs to be... That's what's even more fucked up about this whole situation. Like I said, the timing of this is is really fucked up because of, like I said, the, the issues he's dealing with right now. And, and Bobby decides, oh, this will be a fine time to humble him. To hammer him down. What kind of a sick, twisted individual do you have to be to want to humble somebody, to hammer down this person that is going through, you know, some other issues right now? And you want to act like you're the victim? I don't, I don't think so. He needs to be humbled. He needs to be hit again. <clears throat> what kind of fucking weirdo shit is that? That is some weirdo shit. I'm not going to say too much. I don't fucking need to. Redneck Nation is obviously <laughs> not fucking important at all, really. It's actually... Uh, now, I feel like I've been fucking played. And I, again, I, I can't blame him for feeling the way he feels. I mean, I would feel that way too. If some entity, some company that I thought was trying to help me launch my career was actually trying to, is now trying to, you know, destroy my career. I mean, imagine what something like that can do to one person's head. What a fucking letdown. All right, y'all, so that was Church with, um, you won't catch me wearing a Redneck Nation shirt ever again. And yeah, and that kind of puts me in a conflict because, you know, I got that Church uh, Holly Boy shirt. And it's like, I want to wear it because, you know, it's it's church's merchandise, you know what I'm saying? And it's Holler Boys and everything. But it's where I got it from, you know what I mean? That kind of makes it conflicting for me to want to wear it. It's a real, real shitty situation. I'm sure I don't need, y'all don't need, need to tell you that. I mean, it's pretty obvious. So uh, it looks like, okay, we have Bobby's video over here. Let's see what Bobby has to say. All right, y'all, so we were able to find Bobby's video. So let's get Bobby's side of the story. And no, I will not link this video because I don't think this dude deserves the views, especially after what he's done. But anyway, let's get into this. What's going on, everyone? Hi, I'm Bobby. Um, this is the first time I've ever done a video like this. Um, I've been on YouTube since 2010, and I've never been involved in drama. I've never put anything up until now. Thing out there, I've never commented on stuff. People have tried to bait me into it, and I haven't done it. I'm here now because I let a lot of people down. You blew it. No shit. But you, you, you let. You know what? And I let myself down. What? Oh, here we go. Sam was on, what, 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 what am I telling y'all, man? Now he's trying to freaking play play victim. Like, bruh. No. More importantly, I let Ryan down and... You don't say. I let other people in that camp down. By them hearing horrible, disgusting things that I said. You blew it. All I can say is, is that it's not okay. Okay. It's not okay whether we feel justified or whether we feel that we're in the moment or someone says, oh, people say things when they're venting or people say things when they're angry. It's not okay. Every bit of anger and... No shit, it's not okay. And it didn't sound like y'all was angry. It sounded like y'all was being vindictive. I mean, let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade. I mean, this was something that y'all was, was, was planning. And you hot mic yourselves too, which was freaking dumb. Visceral hate and and 
horrible things you can say and lob at me. I... And you know he's only saying this shit because he got caught. I mean, that's only obvious. Deserve every single one of them. I don't deny that at all for that conversation. But I'm asking you to... Well, you, you can't deny it because you was caught in 4K. Look at the totality of it. I'm asking you not to forgive me or, or forget at all. But look at the journey that we've had together. Are you serious? Yeah, this this journey, huh? About uh, when, yeah, you kind of helped launch Dude's career, but now you're trying to destroy Dude's career. So, yeah, hell of a journey, Bobby. Hell of a journey. That wasn't put on, and that wasn't out of anything but love and admiration for wanting him, Ryan, to achieve all that for his mom and all the rest of them. Are you serious? That was from the heart. Are you serious? That was from the heart, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. When I met Ryan, he didn't have anything. That's on this channel too. But I knew he could have more. Oh, spare, spare me the crocodile tears, my guy. Don't, don't, don't try to cry. Don't try to force some tears out. Ain't no one gonna feel sorry for you. We all heard what you said. And I swear to you, I have been there and I have not done anything. I know he feels like that. And I know that now there's a recording of something and people can just say anything they want. But ask anybody who I've ever met or anybody that's been around me and Ryan or, or met me over the years, even after all this, I, did, I wasn't salty. I didn't, I didn't run him down. I didn't do any of that. I said, pray for him, pray for him. People hit me up and asking me about things that were going crazy at that time and what's going on with him. I said, just pray for him, man. And I know a lot of people are gonna, they're gonna say, oh yeah, you're, you're Christian religion. Listen, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. You guys see that. But I'm telling you, I never wanted nothing and I never did nothing to hurt that boy. I'm telling you. And it's all there. It's all there. I'm telling you. This was someone who was in my office, who I trusted, and they recorded me, and I, I got involved and caught up in it. And I was just, and I use the word humble, man. Not in a derogatory way, in a way to say, hey, look at the blessings, man. Focus on that, not on all this other stuff. And now I'm just another person that's let this kid down, that's let the camp down. Because this is what they hear, and this is what they'll think, and this is what you think. Redneck Nation was created because I grew up here. And it was about family, tradition, and heritage. And it was about also helping people chase their dreams. And that money that I used was to, was to buy the studio and do those things that help. And, and the, the first tour bus, the van and all that, that's what Redneck Nation was about. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to let y'all decide. I, I, I think from what I'm hearing, from what I'm saying, it sounds like dude is full of it. I don't, for, I don't expect any of you to forgive me, ever, because I won't, but I'm telling you, I never did anything, I never did anything to hurt that boy, I did, never did anything, that was a conversation that they, that, that was, that I don't know, I mean, all these social media accounts I got deleted, and church has to keep constantly, make new ones, and you're looking into buying bot accounts, to help ruin his rap, to help destroy his social media presence. Oh yeah. That was caught. It's horrible and it's awful and I have no defense for it. I did, I wasn't. Well, at, at least you, you acknowledge the fact that you don't have any defense for it, but yet here you are though, still trying to play victim. Communicating with Ron, I wasn't talking to him on the phone and I did not know what else to do. And listen to me when I say this, I never, ever want anything but for him to do and achieve. Well, of course you're not going to get Ryan on the phone because, again, you were caught. You were caught doing something and saying something that you shouldn't have done. You shouldn't have said. But now it's too late. And you know how church operates. The very moment you get caught saying something that could sound potentially harmful to him, you're done. You're cut off. That's how church has always been.
And that's how he's always going to be. There is no two-strike, three-strike policy with Church. As soon as he catches you saying some suspect shit, you done. And you have no one but yourself to blame for that. Leave everything that he wants to do. I'm not asking for your forgiveness. I don't deserve it. And again, people will say, well, people get hot and they say stuff. It's not okay. It's not okay for you to get mad about something with your mom or just something with your, your, your wife or your girlfriend. It's not okay to, to cut deep and go for something that you know will hurt them. You know it's purposely going to hurt them. And you say it because you know that. That's the one thing that'll hurt them. This person knew my relationship with Ryan. They knew that would be the thing that would get. And see, and then here we go. And he's like, "Well, this person caught me, uh, you know, recording or whatever." Blah blah blah. And it's like, "Okay, dude. So what? Now it's th it's that person's fault for recording you. You still got to take ownership for what you said, man. You still got to take ownership for what the the part that, that you played. And don't just pass the buck on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, obviously somebody recorded you." We, we we got that. You don't got to tell us that. I mean, you, you don't need to insult our intelligence. We know somebody recorded you. But you still said what you said, and you shouldn't have, sa shouldn't have said it. Shouldn't have said it. Plain and simple. I mean, I knew that. But I don't even hold them responsible. This is This is a lesson, man. This is a lesson for, for, for me to teach everybody. You don't hold them responsible, but okay. I, I, I guess I can appreciate that aspect. Because I guess, well, you know, I mean, I jumped the gun there, so. I guess there is something to be said for, for that, but I mean, it still doesn't change the fact that he said what he said. You blew it. You said what you said, my man. You blew it. You, you messed up. You blew it. You messed around and and found out. You blew it. Just like everyone else that came before you that betrayed church. You're now on that list of people who messed up. You blew it. I get that. Okay, fine. You're not holding that person accountable. You know what I'm saying? But Damn it, Bobby. At least hold yourself accountable for what you said, for what you did. You know what I mean? You, you want to come on here talking about, I never did anything or said anything to hurt that boy. You tried to destroy his social media presence. This just ain't right. You're trying to destroy his career. You were, you were colluding with someone else in the room talking about buying bot accounts. What? To destroy this man's integrity. Not okay! So don't say, oh, that, oh, uh, I never did anything to hurt that boy. You did. You did, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. And I'm glad you're not expecting anyone to forgive you because, yeah, you're right. You don't deserve it. Now, even when we think it's okay and you're venting with your friend or someone you consider a family member, there's someone else on the other side of that. And if you don't want them to feel like that and you don't want them to feel like the whole world's coming down because someone that they loved and trusted and it was supposed to be better, I'm supposed to be better than that. I thought you could just go through life and people were like, well, I never heard a bad thing about you and I never heard, and I do for people and I give. That's not enough. That's not enough. See, these are all things you should have thought about before you said what you said. You being a little older, apparently not, not that much wiser, um, but you being a little older, you being around a lot longer, you should know better than that. You should know better than that. You don't do people like that. You just don't. It's not enough. You, you know the only reason he's doing this video is because he's trying to save face. He's trying to save his company. You know what I mean? His probably his only source of, of income. That's the only reason why he's doing this. I mean, that it should be obvious. I apologize to everybody who feels betrayed or hurt, but I'm telling you, I swear to you, I promise you, I'm giving you my word that I have never, ever, ever done anything to hurt Ryan in any way, shape, or form besides this horrible conversation. What? <laughs> you never done anything horrible to this person to hurt him 
besides that conversation. It don't work like that, Bobby. There's no one foot in, one foot out. You can't say, I never did anything to hurt this person, but then there, there's this conversation, you know what I mean? Besides this conversation. See, you're not taking accountability for what you for what you said. You're not taking account, accountability for what you've done. And you almost passed the buck on to the person recording you, but then you say, oh, you're not holding them accountable for what they did. Damn it, Bobby, this just ain't right. I mean, try, try, try to do better, I guess. I don't know how you're going to be able to save Redneck Nation after what you did, but I mean... You blew it. Fish. That's, that's something that you're going to have to figure out. Or you're going to have to figure out another source of revenue. You don't have to believe me. I mean, we, we don't have any reason to believe you because, again, you just contradicted yourself. I never did anything to hurt the boy except for that conversation. Are you serious? Okay. And I can tell you that what I feel is a million times worse than what anybody could ever come lob my way. And I and I get it. Are you serious? Yeah, sure you do. They're gonna chop this up. They're gonna replay it. They're gonna react to it. But you know what? That's okay. Because when you say those things and you put those things out there, that's exactly what you deserve. And it should be magnified and amplified like that. You guys keep supporting him in everything that he does. I know that I know that this right now is horrible and I'm and I cannot be sorry enough. Yeah, right. I'm not owed anything. Definitely not. Well, I'm glad you feel like you're not owed anything because you're, you're right, man. You're not owed anything except for this ratio that, that you got on this video. Look at this. 91 likes, 602 dislikes. And only 4.8k views on this video. And from what I'm seeing in the comments, yeah, I'm pretty sure Creek Squad would, would agree with me that, um, yeah, I pretty much, I mean, we, we, they're pretty much saying, man, they lost all respect for Redneck Nation. I can't say I blame Creek Squad for that. I don't. I don't because I pretty much lost all respect for Redneck Nation as well for what. They try to do to church. It is just all kinds of bad. So anyways, y'all. There you have it. We have church's side. We got Bobby's side. Y'all y'all know me. I like to get both sides of the story. And it is basically mutually agreed upon that, yes, Redneck Nation, they said what they said. They, they messed up. Um, even though the owner of Redneck Nation is... Not really accepting full responsibility for what for the role he played. Instead, is trying to play victim. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm just not buying it. And I'll leave it up to y'all if y'all want to want to forgive that man or not. That is up to you. Um, bruh. Yeah, let me go ahead and close this out, man. Before I really lose my shit. So with all that being said, guys, pray for church. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all are supporting church. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, because I'm sure he can, you know, he can use all the love, all the love right now in the world that, that he can get. You know what I mean? And that's real talk. And church, if you're watching this video, I just want to say, you know, thank you for all that you've done for me. You know what I mean? It's very much appreciated. And, um, yeah, man. <sighs> And I'm sorry that you had to go through all this, man. I mean, it sucks, man. Praying for you, man. I hope uh, things get better for you, man. Um, I feel like things will. You know what I mean? Keep your head up, man. You know, I will continue to support you in any way that I can, whether it's through my reactions, reviews, or purchasing your music. You know what I'm saying? I will do everything I can in my power to, to show that love to you. You know what I mean? Bruh. <sighs> All right, Chris Squad. It is your boy, Jason JV. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know what to do if you're feeling the vibes here. Y'all know how to support the channel. And y'all know, know how to support church. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. With all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So, y'all take care. Have a blessed one. i catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, What's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. 
just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm after the next video. I'm going to see you. 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 I'm going